everybody. Welcome. Welcome to my channel, Coffee, Wine, and Stitching Time. This is Stitchmas, and this is December 6th, day 6 of Stitchmas, uh, where I do my advents. I'm Janelle, and Jinxie Bell, do you want to come say hi? No, she wants to just chew on her little gingerbread man over there, so we're just going to let her do that. I'm sure she'll pop over because she's been really like, you know, I think now that I'm doing these more regularly, she's starting to wake up and be alive more and be like, all right, I'm going to check it out more and all that kind of stuff. So yes. All right. Are we ready? I, you'd think that I've had like, you know, 15 cups of coffee today, but I've only had two. I am making tea right now and the tea that I'm making. Okay. So this is another one. I got this in the mail yesterday from our friend Janet. Uh, Janet Jabber. Yes, you are an amazing woman, Janet Jabber. Okay, and I can't wait because I've already heard rave reviews about your tea. And if, okay, so I got the little tea box. I got a little card. It says Merry Christmas with a little note inside. And holy macaroni. Okay, so there's, she got this little tin. I love this little tin. And if we got two kinds of tea. We got a chai tea and we got this one. It is brewing right now. I could, I, I need to, I wanted to get over here and do the video, but I could, didn't want to wait for my tea to be done steeping. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to let my tea steep because I really got to make sure that this one, I do it right because I have a feeling I'm going to absolutely be in love with this tea. This, oh, I, it, the water just started dripping on the tea bag because I do it out of my Keurig. It just started dripping on the tea bag and I already smelt it. And if it, it tastes half as great as it smelt, oh, I am so excited. Okay, so the tea that is steeping at this time, of course, it's a dessert delights tea. It's Tazo Vanilla Bean Macaroon. Yes. And look, it's a two. It's only a two, so it's a low caffeine level. <laughs> are you thinking you, I need more? Are you thinking I need less? What are we thinking? I don't know. I'm just in a really good mood. I also just put a, I went to the grocery store. I got the last of my packages mailed off so far that I have ready to mail. Um, I got my not so secret secret Santa gift out. Um, that was a huge thing off, huge burden, hurt, not burden, huge relief that I got it in the mail. And it's, they said it's going to get there before the date I'm supposed to have it there. So, whoa, I made it. Okay. Anyways, back to the tea. It's a savor this black tea confection with fragrant, fragrant vanilla and a dash of cinnamon. The ingredients are black tea, natural flavors, chicory root, cocoa peel, licorice root, roasted yerba mate, yerba mate, cinnamon, and cardamom. Okay. It's steeping. I only have like one more minute that has to steep. So, um, I'm going to put those back in the bag. Oh, and the other thing we got in here, holy honey sticks. Oh, look at all these. Look at all these. I am going to have a honey stick party, man. Between the fireweed honey sticks. By the way, Megan, I still don't know what fireweed is. <laughs> so I still haven't had it. And these, and wait, hang on a second. These are wildflower, wildflower honey sticks. So, um, I'm so in for a tea, a honey, a honey stick party. Oh, I'm just like, going to, uh, <laughs> right? just take the honey stick and you know, like Pez. I wonder what, Ooh, that would be fun. Okay. It's a thought if I need to ever need like some excitement on another video coming up, it is definitely a thought. We're going to try honey sticks like Pez. And we'll see how much caffeine we need. Maybe because it's all sugar. Sugar. Do, 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 do. See, I'm just, I'm just going away. All right. Okay. There is that. And it's officially four and a half minutes on my video already. So I know it's deep for five minutes. So hold please. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I'm back with my tea. Well, I'm, I don't even know which mug I'm in. I'm in the Minnesota mug. No, I'm in the Missouri mug. I just saw the M and I wasn't sure. Oh, I guess I could have just looked a little closer into the camera.
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I tasted it over there and it was really hot. And I swear, if I would have just let it cool, I didn't have to add anything to it. I seriously added just the teeniest bit of, um, I have a Cinnabon creamer, just the teeniest bit of Cinnabon creamer to it, just so I could cool it down so I could really try it without burning my mouth. Oh my God, this is so good. Janet, I have a new favorite tea. Now, if I can't find this on the internet, I will be driving to your house in, in Indiana. I think that's where you are. Wherever, wherever you are. I'm going to be driving to your house. <laughs> and I'm going to raid your tea cupboard. <laughs> if I can't find this. This may be my new favorite tea. Oh my gosh. It is so, so light. So gentle. I am, I have not been like a big tea critic, but I feel like I'm a professional tea critic right now. It's, it's just, oh, it's heaven. It's heaven in a cup. Oh my gosh, that is so good. And I think I actually put too much creamer in it because it's a little, it doesn't have to be that sweet. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm going to have like, it's just 10 minutes talking about tea. All right. Here's the, ad here's the highlight of my advent. Oh my gosh. That is so good. It's so good. Okay. I have to sell you, Christine, if you're watching, I know you're a cocoa person, but if you got a tea from Janet still, you need to try this one. And if you did not get that tea from Janet, I will find this tea and I will send one to you and you will, you're going to think twice about tea. Okay. Okay. All right. Should we do advents? Should we get on with what we're, what we came for? Okay. That's, that's the tea box. Okay. Um, oh, we're having tea. We got to figure out, let's start with our food. Let's go to Italy first, shall we? Okay, today is December 6th. December 6th. Ponta Vecchio. Vecchio? Vecchio. Ponto. Let me say that again. Ponte. P-O-N-T-E. V-E-C-C-H-I-O. I'm going to have to like take an Italian Italy class or something like that. It's this one right here. And... It's actually, it goes, it, this is a big, big, big picture. It goes into 18. So I don't, I want to say Pancho Vio, but that's more Mexican or something like that. I don't know what Pancho Vio is. So hopefully I'm not saying anything bad, but Ponte Vecchio, maybe it's the, maybe it's the Italian version of Pancho Chio or Pancho Vio. Or, I don't know. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, I'm, you're in for a treat. Okay, I got a cookie. Here's the cookie. All right, let's see which cookie it is. This is the, oh, I've been waiting for this cookie. This is a good day. Oh, this is the Lemoncello flavored cookies. Okay, have you ever had Lemoncello? Lemoncello is quite nice. Um, oh. Don't make me, don't make me fight you on this cookie. Okay. I bet this cookie is going to be as amazing as my tea. Mmm. It's crunchy. But not too crunchy. You don't have to dip it like the biscotti. But it's a good firm cookie. Yes, it is. And if there's something in it that I can't have, I don't care. I'm going to eat it anyways. It's good. It has candied lemon, which is just lemon peels and glucose, fructose syrup, sucrose, acidity, acidity regulator, and citric acid. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm eating it stuff. It does contain some limoncello liqueur. It is very good. Okay. 
I shouldn't eat the whole cookie right now, but I'm gonna. What else do we do next? Oh, yeah, I have to eat the whole cookie now because... Mm. Wait, did we do chocolate yesterday? No, we didn't. We did day three of Mad Tosh, and that's when I found my card, my little piece of paper. Mm -hmm. So we have to do chocolate today. So we'll have that for dessert. Um, so shall we move to caterpillar cross stitch? Open carefully. Okay, day six. Here's our little thing. It has a pretty flower. And it has sparkle and shine this Christmas time. You know what? If this is not my box, I don't know what is going to be my box. Big bite. Mm. It's a secret note. I'm just kidding, it's not. It's a pattern. I don't know what it is yet. <gasps> oh! It's a it's called, well, so on the front, it says Christmas gonk. And so I'm like, what's a Christmas gonk? Hang on. I need to drink some tea. And apparently my dog just had a bunch of water or something because she just burped. <laughs> We're a pair. Okay. So this is Christmas gonk. And let me see. 666 and B52. There's a green and a pink in here as well, but the majority of this, so I believe we got red and white floss yesterday, on a day, previous day. I'm going to hold it way back here because this is too good not to share. Guys, look. Look at that. I may have to... I don't even know. Okay, so day one, I really... Should I have kept these all out? Okay, let's see here. Day one. I'm going to take them all out. Day one is the flash drops. Okay, I'm just going to put the boxes back in. You know what? I'm going to... That's Somebody's doing that with their tea advent. They're turning them around when they're done. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. Okay. So I'm going to turn them backwards when I'm done with them. Okay, what was day two? Day two... This is going to be the shortest, longest video ever. Day two was there's no place like, like, there's no place like home. Okay, this was the stamps and the, um, and the ink pad. Oh, and somebody said, okay, it was Lynn. I was watching Lynn. So here's the little acorn. And then here's the berries. And this, I guess this is a cranberry, not an olive. Okay. Um, so there's that. Okay, so let's put day two back where day two goes. Day three. Day three was the cute little gingerbread man. And said, have a holly jolly Christmas. And it's empty. What was in here? What was in day three? Do you guys remember? Hmm. I don't remember. Oh, my needle minder. Okay. And I have it on, a, on my project right over here. Okay, so that's, maybe I should take I should take that off of here and put it over here because I have a feeling that I'm going to have a project to start over here because, here it is. That's mine. You can't have my stuff. Okay, so there's day three. Day four, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Oh, actually, every time a bell, every time, a bell rings. An angel gets his gets their wings. Okay, and this is the red and the white floss. Okay. Now we're making tracks. Okay, that. Now we need number five. Here's number five. Was number five fabric? It was fabric. Oh, 
Ho, ho, ho. All right. Okay. So let me look and see. It says, um, line, look for the red lines and black arrows to help find the center. It's in portrait orientation. Do not copy, share, blah, all that stuff. Okay, let's see. 42 by 72 or 14 count Ada or 28 count even weave. Oh, this isn't that. I bet this is linen. Maybe this isn't for that. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to have to find a box to put all this stuff in because that would actually be really, a really cool with the red and all that white for the gnome on there. That would be really cute. I'm pretty intrigued. Pretty darn intrigued. Okay, I'm going to have to do a little research later. And it's early enough. It's not, you know, early, early. But it's early enough where I can still probably do a little research tonight um, and check things out. Um, I still have to put my floss tube up that I filmed the other day. I did edit it and get that all saved. I just got to upload it tonight and then get this one on there as well, obviously. Um, so, all right. Uh, what's next? What sh where should we go next? That's dessert. We can't have, you know what? I'm feeling like chocolate. We're going for it. Day three, get out of chocolates. Let's just get all the eating out of the way, shall we? Oh, and this is one I can't have. Okay. So that's okay. This one is the, um, milk hazelnut oyster. So it's an oyster shape, but it's hazelnut in there. And I don't dare mess with hazelnuts. So, you know, with I, I have a nut allergy. It's tree nuts. There's some, I'll do almonds, you know, but like hazelnuts, filberts, walnuts, pecans, the, those kind of, I'm just, even almonds I kind of shy, shy away from once in a while. But if it's like blanched or, you know, there's, I don't know if it's, uh, uh, too much, TMI, 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 let's have tea. I don't die. I don't die from eating the nuts. I just, you know, the throat just gets a little scratchy. Then you just drink lots of water and then you're fine. It's funny. All my friends laugh because they're like, oh, that has nuts. I'm like, that's okay. Don't worry about it. We're fine. I won't die until one day I die. Just kidding. I will die. Okay. Let's do the nice list box. Oh, I better put this up so my dog doesn't get it because I don't want her to die either. And I don't think chocolate, and I know chocolate's not good for dogs. So there we go. There's that. Okay. Nice list box. Um, day six. What do we think day six is packaged like? Hmm. I kind of have them in order in a way, but not really in a good way. Okay. So there's that. Let's see, that's day eight. Oh, there's day six. Found day six. Let's put day seven back up there because we're going to need that shortly. That one goes there, and we'll just put all the stuff right back on top. You know, this plush would be a really great one to put that gnome on as well. And that is 16 count. <gasps> I might do that. I don't know. Okay, I'll have to think about it. Okay, day six. I'm going to open it first before I read about it. Nice list. Black Needle Society. Ooh. <gasps> My Christmas list. And look, there's lots of pieces of paper so I can make lots of Christmas lists and I can give it to lots of people. And I want peace, love, and happiness. That's what I want. Okay, we should just do that. My Christmas list and have it right up. Peace, love, happiness, and just that'd be awesome. That is a really cute thing. And you know what? There's 
not a ton of lines so it's not like you have to totally fill up so that's like really nice and limiting so when you're making yourself a, a to-do list you don't want to overwhelm yourself it's nice to have only a certain number of lines so you don't overwhelm yourself you don't want a list like this long because you're going to be like oh, i got so much to do i have to do it i have to do it trust me i know because i did that yesterday and but if you only have a few things on that list you'll be like this is doable so this is a nice sized christmas list <laughs> Oh my gosh, who am I joking? I can write really small. <laughs> okay, we need this We need this scissor scratcher. And yeah, I know you're supposed to use a coin, but you know what? The scissor scratcher is working very well for me. So we need to scratch off day six. It's actually working very well for me until the time it's not going to work well. But I think I'm getting the hang of it. And it's kind of nice because it's bigger than a coin. So I don't have to like totally... And just kind of go across the whole thing and yeah I gotta um thanks about move I don't want oh never mind I'll go this way today okay I have to vacuum my floor so we're good anyways it's okay if some of that stuff gets on there but I don't want it on you we don't need that stuff on you no you are you ready come say hi she's like can I come open your rub you ready to say hi say hi Are you, you don't want to talk? You're looking at me like, you're nuts, woman. Where's your, where's your baby? It's over there. You want to go get your baby? You want to show everybody your baby? Go get your, get away from my tea. You can't have my tea. Go get your baby. Bring it here. Give me your baby. Okay, we're reading this now. She has to kill her baby a couple of times before she actually gives it up to somebody else. Okay. All right, sorry, message is popping up. Um, this is it, remember I need 10 hands. I got tea, I got reading, and I'm gonna have a baby to throw soon. Okay, it says exclusive Christmas list notepad. Katarina Book Designs. Keep track of the goodies you'd like to see under the tree or as a handy Christmas shopping list for others. There we are. Okay, there's the nice list. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think this is too yellow for that gnome? It's gonna be this and this and there's gonna be a green and a pink and it's, I think, yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. I'm, I'm not loving it. Not loving it. Okay, we'll put it back in the nice list box. And we'll figure something else out for that at another date, time, place, event, project, whatever have you. You know, I really kind of forgot what I was going to do tonight. And I just looked behind me. You guys, look. I have this sign that I made a few years ago. And I thought it would be really cool. I stained it dark and I put the let it snow on there. And there's a little bit of glitter on that, on that star there. But it's, when it's, I got it home and to go put it outside, you can't even see it. So I'm going to repaint the, I'm going to go over the let it snow and the, and that, and then I'm going to get some Christmas floral and I'm going to put some glue and put some Christmas floral on where the burlap is. So I'm going to redo that sign. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, there we go. Sorry, tangent. All right. Forbidden Fiber Holiday Express. Today is December 6th. It's an even day. So that means that we have another floss and another piece of the pattern. So before I do that, let me show you my my um, progress. Now, I did not get completely through all of my progress, but you'll have to ignore the... See, I'm mid-stitch. Okay, so the first one we had was this green here, and I did all that. That color is called locomotive and then this one is called steam the steam engine oh my gosh now I forgot the name of the color I am so bad but don't worry I have it in my handy dandy little Garon Toten 
accessory bag. It is steam engine. So I am doing steam engine right now. So it's, there's a little line around there with a 482. We gotta find out what that 482 means. And then there's little lines there, some headlights. Um, this is completed on this side and this is completed on this side. This one, I need to do a little bit more there and I need to mirror that there. But there is a little bit more and I'm, oops, I sorry, Jinxie Bell. I know you're like trying to see everything that's over here. So I'm gonna hold it way back here and it's kind of hard to see. But, um, so there's, that's everything that's down there. And then there's like a little circle there. And then there's like this little puff cloud of smoke there. So I think that's part of the steam coming out of the steam engine. Um, so I do have a little bit more to do there, but you can see how far I got. So I gotta work on that. And Lynn from Lynn X Stitches, she did confirm and she, what's the word? She reassured me that there was something that was said about something being about floss heavy or stitch heavy at the beginning. So it tones down towards the end. Cause I'm like, gosh, that's a lot of stitching for me for one night, especially when there's other things I want to do. And I was really worried that I wasn't sure if I'd be able to keep this up or not. So, you know, I got to try to figure that out. Um, but she's reassured me that she saw somewhere that it was stitch heavy in the beginning and it's going to, it'll taper down so we can catch up on some days later. So, with that being said, without further ado, let's open day six and see what color we have and what more the pattern. I'm actually kind of secretly hoping for a little bit right up here so I don't have to count so far to get up there. Shh, I'm being lazy in my counting. I'm more of a visual stitcher than an actual counter. Uh, like, I'll count a little bit, but I don't go usually one, two, three, four, five, six, you know. Let's. Oh, this is pretty. It's called Caboose. Oh my goodness, look at that deep, deep red. I feel like I need it, I need it against a piece of white. Look at that deep red. That is really pretty. Okay, let's see what Caboose has. Hey, there's a little bit going up to the, um, to the steam part. Okay. And it comes on four pieces of paper. So in order to see the whole picture, you have to like lay it out. Um, so let's see. So, oh, okay. To it, oh, nope, I think. All of that is that. Um, I think I might be able to catch up on this one because there's a little bit, where's my project? So there's a little round thing right here. And then there's a little bit of red here, here, and here. And then the steam starts there. So I'll be able to like count up a little easier with that red. And then down on the bottom down here, above these guys, but below here, there's like some lines and it comes down, you know, that front of the train where it has that like V thing in the front. That's kind of what it's going to do there. So I'm excited. I'm very excited. And I think I might be able to catch that up because that, I'm pretty sure I can totally get that done in one night. So, um, if I don't get all of the blue, yeah. Okay, we're gonna, this is a catch-up day, I can tell. Okay, next. Jinxie Bell, what you doing? Come here. You wanna come sit? You wanna come sit? No? Okay, fine, don't. Um, I'm, what do we, what do we have left? What do we have left? Oh, here, it's this part. So like where are these lines, I don't know if it's, I think it's the, yeah. So the black part of this is kind of where the red is there. Yeah. So that's what that is. Um, okay. So I got that. I did my tea stuff. I did my chocolate. I did my caterpillar. I ate my Italian lemon cello cookie. The Mad Tasha's for tomorrow. I did that. I did the nice list box. I talked to you about that plant just out of the blue, whatever. 
I think we're good. I think we got it. I think day six is a wrap. What do you think? Do you think day six is a wrap? You want to come wrap? Want to come wrap it up? Come on. Come here. Come see what I have. Come see. Look. Here. Come. 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 I did train her as a puppy. But now she's old. You know, as we grow older, we get less trained, don't we? Yes. I think we untrain ourselves because we 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 start to go to our own rules. We don't care what the real rules are supposed to be. Like, you know how admin videos should be <laughs> short. <laughs> come. I'm not going to come. I'm not going to just say, no, you have to come here first. You have to come say hello. Or you have to come say goodbye. I don't care. Come. Look, what's this? Okay, fine. I'm going to get your flamingo done. Oh, want that? She's getting mad at me. Okay, whatever. Anyway, okay, we'll let her go be, um, because she might have to go pee. So we're going to just go ahead and wrap it up. Look, I'm a poet. I didn't even know it. All right, it is so time to go. Um, anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you for like letting me rant and just kind of, I'm not really rant, just tangenty. I don't know, whatever you want me to be. Cheers. Smile, sparkle, shine. Happy Advent Day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.